Welcome back to the channel, I'm Luke Ness Monster. Today we're going to be reviewing the Star Wars The Black Series, Grand Admiral Thrawn. He is number 12 in the Ahsoka line, as you can see from the front of the box now, with this brand new Black Series packaging. He is looking great though. Flipping around to the side, we do have this amazing artwork of Grand Admiral Thrawn. Really loving how this turned out as well. Flipping around to the back, we can pause and read the bio if you are like. Again, with this exact same image of Thrawn, as well as the number here. So, nice looking packaging. Other than that, there's not a whole lot else going on. So, let's go ahead, crack them open, and take a close look at everything this figure has to offer. Alrighty, so we got Thrawn out of the box, and I gotta say, I'm really impressed with this figure in some aspects. I'm a little disappointed in one big aspect, though. For the most part, this is a brand new mold from head to toe, except for the arms, because the arms are reused. And obviously, we are gonna get into that in just a little bit, but there is a lot of limitations that reusing this arm went into the sculpts, because the torso is brand new, but they had to accommodate for the old arms, and so we'll talk about how that just kind of really sucks for this figure in a little bit. But the rest of the body looks great, the brand new legs are amazing, and visually this figure is stunning. I do absolutely love the likeness to the actor here for Thrawn, so let's go ahead, get him off the spinny sand, and take a close look at his articulation and everything else he has to offer. So I will say, I am really liking this figure. I think it looks great, it looks visually stunning, but like I said, it does have some problems with the articulation, specifically when it comes to the arms. Uh, I think visually though, it looks great. I do wanna go over some of those nice paint apps. It does have some nice silver paint here on the belt. It does have some paint here for the like badges and the uh, code cylinders, even the gold shoulder pads here. Overall, it looks really, really good. And I do think the face sculpt for Thrawn here is really good as well. I know some people were complaining about the face, but I think it turned out okay for the most part. I think it's not perfect. It's by far not the best Black Series face we've ever gotten, but I think it's much, much better than a lot of the other faces we've gotten in the line in the past. And it's definitely leaps and bounds better than the old Thrawn face that we had. Definitely liking the red eyes on this one too. I think the red eyes really make this figure stand out. So I'm, I'm liking how this one turned out. And I think definitely compared to the old Thrawn here, he is much better. The newer Thrawn is also a little bit taller too, which is quite interesting, but, but as you can see compared to the old Thrawn here, he's a pretty much brand new sculpt. The head, torso, uh, the belt, waist piece, and of course, the legs are all brand new sculpts. The legs are the biggest improvement because the old ones have the double jointed pinned look and the brand new pinless single joint is much, much better. But comparing the two arms here, the arms are exactly the same. The hands are new, but the arms are exactly the same mold, which it's not the end of the world. And that's because looking at the articulation here, he does get past 90 degrees at the elbow. So like he gets decent articulation with these arms. The problem is really the shoulders and the torso that has to accommodate for it. And that's because when we look at the shoulders here, there is no butterfly joints in this figure. This is the first like modern Black Series figure in a very, very long time to not come with butterfly joints. But as you can see, there is no butterfly joints and that's the real big problem I think with these arms. And that's because this torso is brand new. The neck here has articulation where the old Thrawn and other Imperial officer body has no neck articulation. So this is a brand new torso mold, but they didn't incorporate any butterfly joints or shoulder articulation into that torso, which is a big bummer because they put a lot of money probably into making this new torso and they didn't get the most out of it. And I do want to point out they did the exact same thing with the Tala figure where this is a brand new torso sculpt. And even the arms are new in this one too because she's got more like thinner feminine arms. But there is also no uh, butterfly joints in this figure either, even with a brand new torso. So I don't know if this is something that Hasbro has just been doing for Imperial officers because I guess the shirt, the way it fits, like they couldn't do butterfly joints underneath it or if it's something else. But it is something I wanted to point out because it's not the first Imperial officer here to come out recently with a brand new sculpt that hasn't had butterfly joints. As far as the rest of the articulation goes, he does have two ball joints at the head and neck, one at the top and one at the bottom, so tons of range of motion there. You're gonna get pretty much any head angle you would like with that, so really happy with that. As far as the arms go, he can click up into a T pose and his arms do go all the way around. As already shown, he does get to 90 degrees and he does have a, a horizontal hinge on this wrist and a vertical hinge on this wrist. Does have a ball joint where the torso meets the belt. As far as the legs go, he can kick up pretty far, which is nice. And he can kick back a decent amount. The cut here in the side of like the shirt is really, really good for getting extra leg articulation. As far as the new knees go, this is how much you can get at the knee, pretty solid. He also does have a boot swivel. And of course he does have the standard feet articulation for Black Series with pivots and rockers. 
Next up, jumping into comparisons, we do have the brand new Thrawn in the middle with the old Thrawn on the right, and we have Tala on the left. All three are looking great, and I think this is a huge upgrade compared to the old Thrawn body, so really, really happy with this one as far as upgrades go. Next up here, we do have some more Imperial officers with Grand Moff Tarkin on the right, and we have General Veers on the left. All three are looking great, and if you're planning on completing like an Imperial officer display, this Thrawn would make a great addition to that. Next up, moving on to some figures from the Ahsoka show, we do have Captain Enoch on the right and the Night Trooper on the left. These figures look so good next to Grand Admiral Thrawn. I'm so happy with how they turned out. I think the brand new sculpts for them are amazing, and uh, it's something that I really didn't think they would go so hard on, but they really, really went all out for these figures, and they're looking great next to Grand Admiral Thrawn here. Next up, we do have Morgan Elsbeth on the right, and one of the HK assassin droids on the left. We do see Thrawn interact with both of them a decent amount in the show, so really nice to have this display here, and I think it's looking great. Next up, we have Shin Ha T on the left, and Balin Skull on the right. All three of these are looking great together, and of course, they are characters that interacted a lot in the show, so it's nice to get them all here together for the display. Next up, comparing him to some hero figures from the Ahsoka show, we do have Ahsoka the White on the right, and we have Hera Syndulla on the left. These three are looking really, really good together. Obviously, they all interact in the show, so, so I'm really happy to have all three of these together for the display as well. And then last but not least, we do have Sabine on the left, and we have Ezra on the right. Again, classic Rebel characters that we definitely saw them interact in both Rebels and the Ahsoka show, so... And so I think they're looking amazing together, and it's nice to have live-action appearances of all three of these characters now in the line. So yeah, overall, I'm actually really happy with this figure. I think the arms are the biggest problem with it, so I think I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. It's not going to get full credit from me, but I am really, really happy with how this figure turned out. I think the face sculpt is incredible. I do think the rest of the body with the brand new mold is a huge improvement compared to the last Thrawn. So like I said, overall, he's going to get a 4 out of 5, but I do really like this figure in the long run, and if you don't have a Thrawn or you just want to upgrade your Thrawn, I think this one is going to be a great choice to pick up. Anyway, though, that is going to do it for this video, so if you did enjoy, go down and hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.